I'm talking to somebody that I've always looked up to. Two, um, it's I feel like it's get I feel like it's it's the next. I'm I'm like saying okay now I have the opportunity to look further mm-hmm, and say, mm-hmm. wow, so this is where mm-hmm. we should be looking at. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is happening. So mm-hmm. we're on the right track. And it starts with saying to yourself, I am bright, I am mm-hmm. brave, I am bold, I am blessed, I am beautiful. I teach my two-year-old glam baby, you heard me, glam Yay. baby, that, and she understands... Not grand baby, no, glam baby. Glam Hello. baby. I am a woman who is too young to have grandchildren, so, but I do, so I'm glamorous, glorious, and gracious. <laughs> wow. Glamour. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell yourself Beautiful. that, affirm yourself, people. It has nothing to do with being arrogant. It has something to do with giving yourself positive mm. talk. You can, you know what you are gifted in. Affirm yourself daily. Affirm your children. No, oh. no, no, watch the names that, that you give children. So much. You and I'm please. I'm not. I would change names if I were. I had some of the names that really de, degrade. What's the word? Degrade. Degrade me mm-hmm. in many ways. So, don't be scared to change your names. Mm-hmm. My kids came up with their name. Well, we had their names, Andrea and uh, and Melanie. And when they grew older, they said, "Wait a minute. Can you tell us exactly what our African names mean?" I said, well, Lindywe means the one we waited, waited for, for. Mm-hmm. because you, I was in labor for 24 hours. She said, that's the name I'm going to use. And I don't want it to be Lindy. I want it to be Lindy. Anyway. Where yes. Zanella said to me, and my name, I said, you are last princess. She acts like a princess. And you people act according mm. to their names. Like a matabo. I literally try to be happy at all times. You bring and the joy. make someone happy at all. Every day. For two seconds there, I started thinking, <laughs> then I thought, okay, okay, stay away from there. Just stay away from there. I must tell you a story that I was telling you just uh, when we were off air, mm. that when you did um, your TV show. That's right. And you produced, in fact, I know you did your post-production at Media House. In That's Canada. right. I worked at Media House at uh-huh. that time. How old was I? 20? A woman's age is like a men's income. You don't talk about oh, it. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was told that you can talk about your age if you're happy about it. No, no, no. But you will be punished for it as a woman later on. Really? Watch 60 Minutes mm-hmm. and see that the old men are still up there. Mm. The older women have been taken off. Somehow you, are, you live in a world, especially the media world, where it's harsher on women. On women. Mm. Men will stay on. And we look better than them when we get older, but, but they still stay on. They still stay on. So I, I so and I'm age. not, I'm not ashamed of my age. Mm. I wish I knew what it was, but anyway, <laughs> I, not, lost count. Yeah, okay. I'm not ashamed of my age, but if a man cannot tell me how much he's worth or what he earns, I think women should have a little discretion as well. When it comes to their age. Leave Interesting it to the that. imagination. Interesting period. That. Mm-hmm. Okay. In any case, however many years ago. Okay, that's it. Yes. Many, many <laughs> moons ago. Can uh, we just say many, many moons? Ne? Okay. Many, many moons ago. So I used to, um, I used to work in an office, Libo Pit, I think his name mm-hmm. was. Um, and I did research and uh, presented a show called Your Own Business. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, I would go in every day after school. So I would go to school first. Mm-hmm. Um and then from school, rush there, couple one. Mm-hmm. But I knew that if I get there early enough <laughs> on certain days, uh-huh. then I'll be, that will be my lucky day. Uh-huh. Just rush there, I'd leave school like a few minutes earlier just to make sure I get there in time. And I'd get there, park my skoda skoda on the side mm. and then run in quickly. Uh-huh. And as I'm sitting on the desk, everybody would know when to scream my name. Uh-huh. So as you just came in, everybody would go, Mama Zaka! <laughs> and then I knew her, that was my cue, you're walking in. <laughs> run to the do- run to the window and then just look out. And all I'd ever do is just point and say, one day, one day, and then go back and say, that's down. visualization. Mm. That's affirmation. That's all I'm trying to say. If you can dream it, you can, you do, can it. do it. Ooh, yeah. 
Those days, I remember like it was... It In fact, was, Leanne also yeah. said the same thing. She said she came as a member of Leanne Manas. Manas yes. She said she came as part of the audience one time and she watched the show and said one day and there she yeah. is and mm-hmm. she's doing it mm-hmm. you know i think again what what we need to tell you is that you made us aware that talk mm-hmm. was actually something interesting mm-hmm. you also made us aware because i always knew that acting was not my mm-hmm. greatest i've mm-hmm. never done it but mm-hmm. i don't think that's me mm-hmm. i'm interested in trying it out but just for the sake of i've done it and moving right along you know what i mean but i knew that when I watched you talking, Mm -hmm. I knew, I thought, this is it. Finally, you know when that warm feeling in your heart says, yes. Penny Liviani says something similar in the book as well. Mm. Even her letter talks about that. She said, as a little girl growing up in a... Pinville. No, no, no. She was in in rural... Okapush. Yeah. And she said, I watched this on television. And one day I said... This is what I think I'm, I've been visualizing. Mm. And today, look at where she, is. where she is. So we paved the way for many. And I really admire you and respect you oh, for being you. able to acknowledge it because it is important that we acknowledge those who paved the way for us, those whose shoulders we stand on. Today, I'm on my way, in fact, to Anamohokong's uh, 20 years celebrating 20 years of business and those are the women we cannot neglect you know holding the candle up for because they held it for us Mm. um they made it happen they made it happen Mm. i go back to the older generation marina maponya um helen kuzwayo my grandmother I literally revere those women for what they've done. Can I, your grandmother? And congratulations to Anna. Can, oh, yes, mm-hmm. congratulations. Your mother used to say, Yanaki Mona Lisa of? Or Sophia Town. Of Sophia Town, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. And you looked up to her. Oh, I, I looked up to her. She, she literally did what I normally understand. They say, did you know that 93% of your personal power is based on your walk and talk? She walked wow. her talk, walk with purpose, walk with passion, walk proud, head up, shoulders square, make eye contact, big smile. Guess what a smile is? Uh. It's the most beautiful thing to wear. You could have the most expensive mm. outfit on, but without, without that smile, smile you don't look or it's feel gone. confident. There's a, there's a friend of mine, I mm-hmm. must tell you, who works at... Um, one of the airlines, I think it's SAA, uh-huh. uh, or, or Flyer. Mm-hmm. And she says, she said to me, I remember her telling me a story about you. Yeah. And she said to me that every time you're on a plane, mm-hmm. you're always looking smart. That's it. Um, and I remember her saying, you know, usually you see people getting on the plane and they're so sloppy because they're thinking, oh, I'm just on a plane and I just relax. They say, I want to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. And mm. she said, you're always dressed up. Mm-hmm. You're always looking smart. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, one day she asked you apparently. And mm-hmm. she said, but you're looking amazing all the time. And you said, you never know who you might meet. Always be ready for your destiny. Said, That's wow. true. And people make a judgment about you in 40 seconds of meeting you. Mm. Unfortunately, we live in a very very superficial world World, that is based on what you look like unfortunately Mm. Mm -hmm. sadly Mm -hmm. wow well you've kept that Nati said I must ask you Nati Ndamase she said I must ask you you've had the same beautiful hairstyle and the same beautiful look for years do you wake up and tongue your hair every day do you wake up and look so hot every day how do you do it I'm as consistent as my hair do. Hello! <laughs> right there. Uh, as right consistent there. as my hair do, but I'm fortunate in that I can do my own hair, but I do go to a hairdresser to make sure that it is permed properly, mm. professionally, because I don't want to lose lose it. Uh, you cannot do it G-G-G. on your own in the yes. back room. You have to go and Make do it sure that it's done right. Mm. And Tell I live in the city that's the... They call it the capital of black hair, <laughs> Atlanta. Mm, so you, how is it though being in Atlanta? And, and, and as you said in the beginning, you, you know your heart um, is in South Africa, but you are in Atlanta. I live in Atlanta, uh, Miami, and New York. So 
I love the variety, but again, there is no place like, like home. home. Period. You're Cape Town, life. Miami you is beautiful, that. but Cape Town is prettier. But you know you're living the Atlanta life. is beautiful, but Johannesburg Mara, is prettier. Mara, 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 you've got to know you're living the life. Right. <laughs> I heard you, but that thank is you. like. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it myself. Or if I was to say, I live in Atlanta and I. Hello. Hello. But you know. As a little girl, as I said, I used to visualize where I want to be and what mm. I wanted to do. You can do it. Everybody can do it. But the key for me really was, number one, I said, what's the biggest goal? It was to get my education. What was the next biggest goal? I wanted to teach at a university. I thought it was just so uh, prestigious. So wow. And, yes. and we, we did it. Then I wanted to work in the corporate world. I wanted to walk the corporate hallways of, of America. I managed to do it. So, uh, that's why I say compete against yourself. Don't compete against And others. when you reach uh, it, you tick and you move on. You tick and you move so on. So always have, always have a goal then. I have a goal. I wake up every day, five things to do. And after I've ticked all five at the end of the day, I feel I've accomplished something. Mm. But write down the five things you want to do. Even if it's as small as I want to make sure that I smile and connect with someone today. Right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. When I see women sitting together, I go up to them, I disrupt whatever it is, greet them, hug them, and move on. We have to develop what I call that girls club that the boys club has. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Rather than saying, say that again, look, look the other way and say, <laughs> and we do it so well the lips are moving yes but, <laughs> but nothing else is moving but you know the worst is now people say it loud enough for you to hear mm. I'm thinking really? that's when you go up to them then you smile say hello. and say hello yes. that's it Yes, it's so important that we do that and somehow we do it more to each other mm. as black women that's so true. Mm -hmm. We pull ourselves down. Yep. Touch is in the studio. How are you, Touch? I'm going to tell you my perspective. Lovely, thank you. Your question, Touch. Okay. Mama. Uh, my, my question is, as young, par as young parents, w what kind of conversation are we supposed to have with the younger ones in this day and age? Ironically, I'm going to say, listen. Listen, hear them out. Mm. Because we grew up where, when we came up, our parents would say, Tula wena, just sit down. Oh, and you'd run away. And I'll tell you what, I, uh, please guys, I'm not trying to make us Americans, but I'm just trying to say, this is what I observed. Um, parent to, I was talking to one parent and the little four year old came. Normally we would have said, am I going to say something? Yes, that's respect, fine. However, they told me to hold it one second. They want to hear what the child has to say. The child made his point. And then we continued our conversation. The mother responded. And then we continued the conversation. But what, did that, what does that do? It gives that child confidence, gives that t t child courage to challenge, to ask. We need to change it to some degree because those children are the ones who are going to have to compete with the children that I'm talking about right now. Our children have to go and compete with them. You know, we live in a, in a different society now. Uh -huh. We live in a bigger global village. That's right. So mm -hmm. the fact that you are born in Soweto or mm -hmm. the fact that you are born go etwa, etwa, go David, mm. does not stop you from achieving the best. It does no not stop one you. No and nothing should stop you from yeah. realizing your dream. Your dream. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it, it then t tells us clearly that this little child growing up in David and a little mm -hmm. child growing up in Kylie Chan, mm -hmm. one in Soweto could well be competing with one who's in New York and mm -hmm. one who's in China. Mm -hmm. um, very clearly so. So some and of these things... We need to start encouraging them mm. now to realize that they can compete. It can be mm. done. It can be done. It can be done. Mm. Another question. Go for it. Okay. My Felicia, I'm glad to say fella Hori. How do you, how can you motivate a young woman who has fears but has goals of what to do but doesn't know how to face her fears? Remember I said you're born a genius. Go and find the genius in you. What do you, what do you want to do? Actually, I wanted to be an estate agent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm a travel consultant at the moment. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
but even that so why don't you start whilst you're a travel agent i also don't give up your job mm-hmm. you can do what you want s- s- gradually whilst mm-hmm. you're holding on to your job let me give you a- an example here research has shown that men spend 70 percent of their time doing the job and 30 percent of their time marketing themselves women on the other hand we spend 110% of our time on the job. That is why when we are fired or we're dropped or we are laid off, we are the most devastated because we do not make room for the next step. So I want to say to you, yes, I know you're going to give your job everything you can, but take 30% and start doing what you really are passionate about. Follow your passion profits will ultimately follow. I have two daughters right now who are following their passion. One has a tennis academy. It started small. Today it's in New Jersey, New York, Miami, Atlanta. So she's just started the Miami one. And her dream is to just make sure that you know, it's the Uber type idea of for tennis. It's just unbelievable what you guys are coming up with. I had my other daughter, Lindue, she wanted to sing. I said, uh, just get me the qualifications that you could fall back on if all fails when you are a singer. She then got her MBA against her will and sent me a text <laughs> message and said, I got your MBA. Your MBA. My MBA. <laughs> yes. Because she really didn't think it was even necessary. But it's it's helping her. I said, when you, you have something to fall back onto, she said, my generation does not fall back. We fall forward, stand up, and stop continuing I like her. working. Wow. And you crawl working. all the way forward if you fall. But That's you it. will get to stand up. <laughs> That's it. And go on. That's it. Never fall back. Never fall back. The trick is not to fall on your bum, but on your knees. <laughs> but, but but Les Brown will say that you fall on your back, you can look up, you can get up. No, so but either way. I say fall on your knees, bow your head, pray about it. Get up and go. <laughs> but you got it. Speaking about that, like your sister, I was being, I've met her when I was at uh, Middle East Police Station. Isn't she the happiest she person? She is so happy mm-hmm. and she inspires a lot of people. And when I look at her, I'm like, wow. I know, I said to her, you need to have some alone time. She yeah. says, man, took me alone time, Nick felt the loneliest. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Something that you said in your book that for me said, amen. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, amen, I'm done. I can actually close this book and go to sleep. I am a happy girl. Mm-hmm. Negativity kills a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And you're talking, in, I think it's page, seven, I even wrote the page mm-hmm. down. It's page 79. Mm-hmm. And uh, you went on to say friends, family, and foes. Eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they mm-hmm. all, uh, you gave them mm-hmm. a, a name, <laughs> negaholics. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's, I, I say that when I looked at that, it said, I said amen, purely because we sometimes think we need to impress those that are so negative. Maybe they have a point. Maybe You'll I never listen. get to a level where you're going to make them happy. Period. You're never, you're never going to make them happy. Yep. In life, there will always be cynics, skeptics, and critics. Don't lower yourself to their level because they will bring you down to the depths of their negativity and misery. And misery. And, and misery re- likes I, company. And I refuse to be in that club. Misery loves company. I refuse we to be in that be club. Part of that. Thank mm-hmm. you so, so much for coming through. Before I say goodbye, live your dream, Mkai. I get the book. Uh, my Felicia Mabuza Sato wrote the book and it's in your bookstores now, Amazon.com, uh, Barnes & Noble, Apple Ice Rolls, Kobo, Kalahari & Lut. Everywhere you can find the book. You have to, have to get it. Especially if for nothing else. For, you know, to wake up every morning and read and know in to say... In yes. a if you don't want to read. If you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, also, but also just to say to yourself every day when you, w- when you wake up, I am, I am. I am somebody. I am there, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I am worthy of being mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we doubt ourselves mm-hmm. and we get to a point where even when you reach. The fact where you that want you to were be. born means that you are there.